Hey, Mario here from Footroots.com. In this video we will look at how you edit ratings, labels and other collections in iMatch file windows. There are several ways to assign ratings and labels to files in iMatch. In this case we are using the mouse. To change the rating of a file, select the file in the file window and then just left click into the rating and label bar to assign the rating you want. Or just hold down the left mouse button and drag the stars. If you select multiple files and you assign a rating, the rating is assigned to all selected files. To change the assigned label, just click on this little drop-down button and then select the label you want to assign from the menu. Purple in this case and we give these two files a final label. After changing the rating and label, you may have noticed that the, a pen icon has appeared in the file window panel. This icon indicates that metadata has been changed but not written back to the image file. iMatch by default stores changes you make to metadata only in the database for performance reasons. To write back the data in the actual file, you click on this pen icon and then iMatch updates the file on disk and the pen icon vanishes. If you are unsure of what you have changed on the file, you can just point the mouse cursor at the pen icon and iMatch will tell you which metadata tags have changed, in this case, the label and the rating. There are several other ways to change the rating and label in iMatch. You can use the drop-down menu, which has options for ratings and labels. You can use the right-click context menu, which also, which also has uh, options for rating and label. Or you can use the associated keyboard shortcuts to change the rating and label directly. For example, the keys 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 change the rating. If you press the same key twice, you can toggle the rating. As always in iMatch, if you have multiple files selected, keyboard shortcuts and other commands work on all selected files at once. Most commands in iMatch support an undo. This means if you accidentally change the rating and a label of a file, you can use the edit undo command to revert these changes. This also works if you accidentally change multiple files. iMatch manages ratings, labels and other collections in a special view called the Collection view. To change into this view, you click on the Collection view tab at the top of the iMatch program window. This opens the collection view. On the left side of the collection window, you see all collections iMatch maintains for you automatically. For example, if you expand the rating uh, collection, you see all available ratings from one to uh, reject. And if you click on one of these ratings, you see all files with the corresponding rating applied. All files with a rating of 1. And the same also works with the labels, where you just click on one of the label collections to see all files with that corresponding label assigned. Needless to say that this works whether your database has 10,000 files or 500,000 files. Ratings and labels are part of the XMP metadata standard. This means that iMatch saves the rating and label you assign to a file in the file itself as part of the XMP metadata record. In addition, iMatch offers uh, several other collections which are stored in the database. You can use these collections for all kinds of purposes, for example, to highlight specific images, uh, to temporarily combine images into a collection for later review, or all other kinds of uh, uses. These collections are flags, dots, 
bookmarks and pins. To change a rate, uh, one of these collections, you click on the corresponding icon in the file window. Or you use the corresponding keyboard shortcuts um, available in the context menu. In most cases, these keyboard shortcuts toggle the state of the collection. For example, the B key toggles the state of the bookmark collection and the D key allows me to iterate over all possible uh, three dots. When I assign images to one of these collections, like in this case, I have assigned two images to the uh, bookmark collection. I can switch to the collection view and open the corresponding uh, collection and see all files which ha I have bookmarked in this case or I see all files with a red dot. The shield icon at the top left of the file window panels indicates if a file is marked as read-only on disk. This is the same uh, attribute you can set in Windows Explorer when you make a file uh, read-only. Now the file is read-only on disk. It depends on the applications you use, if they respect this flag or not. The info icon uh, is just an icon to hover, which means you move the mouse cursor into the icon and then image displays the file window info tip with information about the file. The globe icon indicates that the file has GPS data. And if you click on the globe icon, image opens the map panel highlighting the file. It may be sometimes useful to temporarily hide a file or at least hide the thumbnail of the file in the file window. For this, you can use the protected files icon. If you enable this option, you can control via the view menu and the protected files option whether or not the thumbnails of these files are visible. The thumbnails are only visible when you activate the display of protected files. Like most collections, there is a corresponding collection which shows all protected files in your database. View, protected files visible, off, and the files are no longer visible in file windows. There is a special rating named reject, which allows me to mark files for deletion. To do this, I select the files I want to reject and press the del key on the keyboard or use the corresponding command from the context menu. Marking a file for rejection uh, keeps the file in all metadata intact. It's just a mark to tell me that I probably want to delete this file at some later time. I can then use the delete rejected files command from the commands menu to delete all rejected files in account scope, which is what is loaded in the file window or in the entire database. To see all files which are currently rejected, I switch to the collection view and click on the reject rating collection to see all files which have currently the reject rating. I can also undo the reject from this collection.